first question is, when all is said and done and all of the vaccines <clears throat> from Moderna and J&J &J and AstraZeneca and Pfizer BioNTech get coming to us, is supply going to match ultimately demand in 2021? That's a great question and good to be here with you, Tyler. Uh, I guess one question is, what do you think the demand will be? And we actually did a survey, and I know there's been a number of surveys out there suggesting that 50 to 70 percent of the American population wants to get one over the next year. And if you do out the math between Moderna and Pfizer, as well as those who are coming with data in January, AstraZeneca and J&J, &J, the numbers do clearly suggest there will be capacity to meet that demand. And that's why we're optimistic that 2021 will play out just fine for that. Scenario. Will there be capacity globally to meet demand or do we know? Uh, there will be capacity to meet global demand. I think that uh, the question is what countries uh, in which of those countries do want to vaccinate at to what capacity. Uh, you know, I know that there's a lot of focus initially on first United States and Europe. And I think as you go out broader to some of these other countries, uh, the capacity is there. And I want to emphasize that there's been you know, a lot of discussion about this, Tyler, because everyone's just focused on Moderna and Pfizer because they're approved or about to be approved. But there are large amounts coming from AstraZeneca and J&J, &J, as you know, and those really fill out the picture a lot better. And we, and we, we have some sense, I think, of efficacy on the AstraZeneca um, vaccine, maybe a little less on J&J's, if I'm recalling correctly. But let me ask you about the other part of it. So supply may be ample enough for, for the U.S. market uh, as we move into 2021. But what about the other parts of the supply chain? Are they up to it? Is Are the actual delivery mechanisms going to be up to it? Because as we remember, there were well, let me put it charitably, debacles in getting out the COVID tests. And we were promised uh, week after week, a million tests a week, two million tests a week. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And then finally, they, I guess, did come. But it took a long time uh, and not according to forecast. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I think there's two uh, points to, that should make the American public feel better and certainly Wall Street. One is that I think there's been a lot of learnings from the last six to eight months, certainly in terms of how big the situation was gonna be. And we certainly have an idea how many vaccines we need. And uh, there's a good understanding as to the cadence as to those rolling out. So I think, of course, there's been a lot of learnings, certainly when you compare to the beginning of the year, Tyler, when we didn't know what was gonna happen. Uh, the, the second thing is I, is I do think that um, the uh, supply chain, I know a lot of people are talking about the cold storage, you, you read a lot of the comments out of CVS and certainly Moderna. The distribution will be fine because it's, to a degree, a 30-day 30 30 real-time scenario. Moderna's can be refrigerated for 30 days. Pfizer has boxes that are set up to be cold storage and then refrigerated. And so there is a good supply chain there over months and quarters to get that worked out. And so, therefore, it's not going to be the next month, not going to be immediately. But uh, it kind of, interestingly, meets the demand, right, Tyler? Not everybody wants to get it this month next month, next quarter. And so that, that curve actually kind of goes uh, very well in lockstep. Through and, and because of that, in part, because of what you just described, the idea that not everybody wants to get this vaccine, um, I shouldn't be alarmed then when I read in the, in the papers or hear on the news that, for example, New Jersey's first shipment is going to be, or maybe we'll have 120,000 doses or whatever the number is by the end of the year. And we're, this is a state with 12 million people in it. It's ultimately going to ramp up. In, we're going to get the, the first 120,000 are going to go to the first responders and people who are at risk. But ultimately, it's going to ramp to a scale that will meet demand in New Jersey or New York or Florida or Texas. That, that's absolutely right. And while there are not specific guidance numbers by month, I've had investor requests and certainly people are getting this down to the month you know, that that demand and that supply generally meets on a mm -hmm. quarterly basis. And so don't freak out when there's this this week. They're coming every week and there's more to come from AstraZeneca and JJ. Again, think about the first quarter, Tyler, when other vaccines are set to have positive data and really uh, bring a lot more capacity. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.